we go again with more Titans Return figures. And today we are looking at uh, what they're calling Wolfwire. But from now on, shall be referred to by his G1 name, Weird Wolf. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is the winner of Wave 2. He is a fantastic figure. Fantastic. Just so well designed. Some neat engineering tricks. The colors are right. I love that that head. Look at that wolf head. The mouth opens and closes. He's got those red molded in teeth like they're bloody. I love that they, they scratched up the claws to make it look like he actually gets into it and fights. Um, the tail, which is his knife. Really nice. Uh, just really nice overall. He's got a nice ball joint for his head. So you can rotate it. You can get some... Ha. Oh, ha. Not a lot of movement, but enough to get it a little emotive. Really nice. Some missile launchers up here. This gun is really cool. He has probably one of the best gimmick guns for the Titan Masters of anyone. Because in this mode, you can sit a Titan Master in there. He's got this nice big cannon on his back. But in robot mode, you can't see that hollow seat, which is great. I love that. Good design on that one. Um, pretty cool. We can open up the cockpit here. And we'll bring out his Titan Master Monzo. I actually remembered his name. I don't remember most of these guys' names. I just don't care. But Monzo's pretty cool. I didn't add any paint to him. Um, just haven't done it. His, his design is a little too simple. And the paint would just run everywhere. But, you know... It is what it is. He's going to be on, on the robot mode most of the time anyway. And in the back you see there's the face of Weird Wolf. So yeah, not bad. Just fold him up into his head mode. And uh, close that. Actually, no, we're going to leave that open for transformation. Uh, you want to leave that open. Now, um, you want to take the sword off. You want to just undo these bits here. Just get them out of the way. Straighten out his legs a bit. But you want them at this angle because you want to get there's a peg hole and a peg you want them to match up then you flip that around flip out his actual foot so that the wolf foot becomes his heel spur and there's a leg a robot leg it's simple but it works simple but effective and sometimes that's the best way same thing on this side just Straighten it out. You kind of want this all angled like that so that it plugs in. Flip out the robot foot. Rotate it. Boom! There's his legs. Alright. Now you just take his back here. You pick that up. And you accordion it in. And it clips back in. Boom! There's his robot mode. Then you can flip this back onto his back. The head flips back. The ears have a place that they peg into. Uh, just loosely peg into, but they still peg into. Which is nice. Cleans them up nice. Then you can just take his arms. Bring them down. I flip his feet around. Like that. On the back of his arms. Open up this piece here. And flip out the hands. And they will actually peg down nicely. Okay. So flip that up and around. Flip that open. Ow. Grab the fist. Pull it out. Now, I am worried about this. It's very thin. If you can see there. Very thin. So be careful. Be careful. You know. Don't try to manhandle these things. Now I haven't added any paint to him. Why? I don't think he needs it. I think they, they did a good job with him. He's got the paint in the right places. Some silver highlights. Some off-white. Some more of that bluish-green color. Nicely done. I'll just finish him off. We'll plug his head in. And there you go. Weird Wolf in his robot mode. Now, he does have one weird thing that has no place that opens up. We don't know why. Um, maybe for a future remold. Maybe just because they're crazy. Or they want to homage like 
the tech spec area from the original toy, but yeah, that opens up. Okay, so it opens up. Maybe Weird Wolf is sort of like Soundwave, he has cassettes. But you can give him his gun. Like I said, you, you can't see the hollowness that, that the seat makes. And then I you give him his sword. I love that sword. And he can, you know, get some nice posing going. Oh, and he dropped his gun. That's okay, he's got his sword. He does have some slight ball joints in his feet, so you do get a little bit of ankle tilt. Not a lot, but just enough to make him look cool with his sword. So, yeah. There you go. He really is my favorite of this wave. Um, Chrome Dome is second favorite. Chrome Dome is just, he does too many things that are familiar to Combiner Wars. Not making them a bad thing, but it's just, it's just familiar. So, whereas he's pretty unique for these guys. He's just really cool. So, yeah. If you are looking for these guys for wave two, try to get him first. Really. Try to get him first. All right. That's going to be it. I'm going to see if I can get another video or two recorded before the camera battery dies. Got to get a new battery before I go to TFCon. Anyway. That's neither here nor there. Weird Wolf. Wolfwire. Weird Wolf.